She's a happy little girl, she's the best little girl. It amazed me that she just wanted me. Summer was the boss of the family. Uh, she, she took a good girl. When they get out of line, she put them in line. My daughter loves hot chill. Only even. She loves those. Let's just start with these. They're little animals, but I'm not sure what they are. And they got big eyeballs. She likes bracelets and jewelry. Oh, please. She's just a little girl. She had to be outside. She was an outdoor person. And she wanted to be outside. She wanted money every day. She loved to be outside all the time. That's the best. Unfortunately, her, you know, her downfall was summer. Why'd you leave right there alone? You know, go and go with your sister summer now. They did a home study right now. They came in and studied the home. Would it meet the standard that they were looking for? In my opinion, Dr. Field tiptoed around all of their bad behavior and the suspicious things that we've all witnessed. He said Candace was reluctant to talk to him, so I'm guessing maybe there might have been some kind of an agreement before the show to not talk about certain things or Candace would possibly abandon ship again. Here's what we've learned here on YouTube that you didn't hear about on the Dr. Phil show. There is a mountain of past abuse records going back generations in this family. There's been abuse on Candace's side, and then there's also been abuse on Don's side. Candace and Don both had other children prior to them meeting and having four more children together. All of these children were said to have been abused and or taken away by CPS. There is some factual evidence of this, but some was accounts given by other people. Dawn and Candace both have family members who have been charged with horrific crimes, some involving children. Some sketchy people have been allowed in and around their home. Numerous people who know Dawn and Candace in real life have come forward and shared their experiences with these people. Some accuse Dawn of S.A., some shared what they've witnessed of this family's lifestyle and the conditions that the children lived in. All seem to believe that Don and Candace are involved in some way in Summer's disappearance. I started this out by saying, I don't think you, you hurt your daughter. I'm standing up for you. I'm saying, I don't think you hurt your daughter. The logistics of this thing, it just, it just does not point to you. And if investigators pointing it to you, they're not, they're not doing the math. It just doesn't make sense. Candace said Summer disappeared in the two minutes that it took for her to help Grandma with her knee brace while standing outside at the camper. How did someone grab Summer and run away with her within those two minutes and the time it took Candace to walk inside without anyone seeing or hearing anything? Is that even mathematically possible? Don normally drives his truck to work, 
but for some reason he drove their brand new Subaru on the day that Summer went missing. His reasoning was that he was paying $600 a month for it plus insurance and it was just sitting there, so he figured he should drive it and get his money's worth. The car was bought for Candace, so why would the car just be sitting there not being used? Is there anybody that you've had dealings with that are shady? Candace mentioned a guy that Don worked with that creeped her out. She said she didn't like the way that he looked at Summer. But when Dr. Phil asked her if there was anyone who had acted suspicious around Summer, she said, no, nope. no one that I can think of. I can't think of anybody. Is there anybody that he's involved with that you think might be trying to get even with y'all by taking your daughter? Not that I'm aware of. Don has made similar statements. One minute he says he can't think of anyone who would have taken Summer. The next minute he's bringing up all the sketchy people that he brought around Summer and throwing around accusations. I fired a lot of guys for being on, on meth. And the last guy I fired the day before, but he was way out there and I fired him. The very next day my daughter disappeared. TBI's been talking to him, and he's got an alibi where he was. Pretty sure I can't prove it. They were also asked if anyone suddenly left town after Summer went missing, and no one mentioned Grandma, who took off to Wyoming. In Don's words, she left just in time. There's also been a couple of men who have suddenly removed themselves that people have found suspicious. Don has made a lot of contradicting statements when answering questions about Summer. Don says he bought candy for Summer all the time, but didn't even know what kind of candy she liked. When asked about Summer's favorite food, he stumbles with his words and finally says, fast food french fries. Don doesn't know the birthdays or ages of his own children. When he was asked when Summer's birthday was, he didn't know. He yelled to ask Candace, and she said she didn't know either. They didn't know little five-year-old Summer's birthday. People in the chat who never even met Summer remembered when her birthday was. We've heard different reasons as to why Summer's head was shaved, Candace says she was a tomboy. I shaved my head and she wanted to shave her head like me and the boys. Dawn mumbles something along the lines of she tried to shave her own head and it was getting out of control and Candace shaved her head so Summer wouldn't feel bad. Don said he was on the phone with Candace the entire way home, but then says he knew Summer was gone because Candace never called him back to say that they had found her. 
Dawn has said a number of times that Candace called him at 5.30 to let him know that Summer was gone, but the 911 call wasn't made until an hour later. Dawn and Candace have spent the past five months on YouTube doing I don't know what. I don't understand what their purpose of going on YouTube has been. Don says he's been keeping Summer's name out there. I think they've been making fools of themselves. They've joined in live on YouTube while they're fighting, screaming, cussing, calling each other names. Don has been talking to other women right in front of Candace with her crying loudly in the background. They've both appeared to be either drunk or on some kind of substances just about every time we've seen them. Their behavior on YouTube has not brought us any closer to finding Summer. It's only shown us how incredibly messed up their lives are and how much these children must have suffered while they were living in that hellhole. I'm sorry, but no child should ever live with Don and Candace if they can't straighten up and get better. Does any of this prove that they've done something to Summer? No, it doesn't. But it does show character. And it does prove that these are people who can't even take care of themselves, much less children. If you watched Don and Candace on the Dr. Phil show, and you were confused, and you're wondering why certain things don't add up, we're all in the same boat. Even the ones who have followed this case from day one, we're all lost. The only explanation that I can come up with is maybe there's a lot of information that law enforcement knows that they aren't releasing to the public. Dr. Phil said because of the timeline, Dawn and Candace wouldn't have been able to do anything to Summer, but I question the timeline. I question now if Summer was even seen by anyone outside of this family on June 15th. Are we even looking at the right day? Something's definitely not right. The truth makes perfect sense. It has a ring to it. The fact that nothing makes sense makes me believe that we are nowhere near the truth in this case.